Now she's picked the dress, chosen the venue, and even in the middle of planning the honeymoon. In fact, there's only one thing missing from Teresa's dream wedding, the groom. And as she continues on her quest to find the one, Teresa joins us now. And you look lovely, Thank first you. of all. You look very beautiful. And this is, you, one day, this will be your actual wedding dress. This will be the dress, yeah. All right, well, we'll talk a bit more about that in just a moment. But first of all, because there's been moments when you've thought, you've met the one. And I think the first time you fell in love, you were about 19, weren't you? Yeah. And so you were working at a supermarket and you fell in love with one of the boys that worked there with you. And yeah. You were together for a year and you had a baby and sadly that didn't work out because he left you shortly after then. So that was a horrible situation to be in. And a year later, you met another man. Yeah. And this was all looking quite good, wasn't it? You had two boys and you had a daughter who yeah. sadly passed away. And you'd been talking about marriage. Yeah, it was kind of... it was. There were little conversations, nothing ever kind of went into stone, but it was certainly something I'd always said that I'd really like to get married one day. And, and did you think he was the one? Genuinely, yeah, I really oh. did. I spent 12 years with my genuine thought he was going to be my Prince Charming, but unfortunately not. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. And it no. was after that didn't work out that you went, right, well, you know, it's my dream to get married one day, so what's to stop me? I'm going to plan... My wedding. Yeah, that's basically what I did. I just said I wasn't going to let Aunt and stop me. And it just means that when the Prince Charming does finally come along, it's very little planning to do. You're good I've to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, some men might think this is brilliant because planning a wedding is hard work and you've cut all of that out. Since the age of 10, you've been thinking about this wedding and, and Cinderella, I mean, all little girls, you know, I, I walked down the aisle to a song from Cinderella, so I know exactly how you feel. But it was, it was that 10-year-old little girl dreaming of being... Cinderella that kick-started all this. Yeah, like, I, I still even watch the film. Just, it's so, it's just a dream, like, but yeah. it's something that I definitely want to pursue. And so you wanted a Cinderella-style dress, which yeah. is what we can see here, and even down to the shoes. Down to the shoes, I've ordered shoes from America. They're like little glass slippers. Wow. So they're completely see-through, the heels and all are see-through, so, yeah. And when you go and try on these dresses, do they say to you, oh, you know, when's, when's the date? <laughs> yeah. And what do you say? Um, I just say, well, I've no groom, but like when I find them, all the plans done, they kind of laugh and go, that's not a bad idea. So there's a few ladies out there that agree. OK. And you've spent, I mean, the dress was a thousand pounds, was it a thousand pounds? And I think you spent sort of fifteen hundred pounds yeah. in total so far. So are you planning to spend more before you meet the man or is that kind of your limit now? The only thing I would change would be I want something pink in the dress after my daughter who passed away. Right. So maybe a little butterfly or a little kind of pink band. OK. But that would be it. And you've looked at venues? I have. <laughs> and so what did you say? Because, um, I mean, they need a date to pencil in, so that must have been one of the first questions. Well, they did ask for a date, but I just said I was only viewing, so I could kind of get away from that question, which they were happy to show me round. Um, but I wanted a castle, so now you can actually have the actual Cinderella experience. When you oh. meet this guy, this man, this prince of your dreams, um, is he going to have any say in any of this? Oh, yeah, no, I don't. 100% compromise. The only thing I wouldn't compromise on would be the first dance song. That'd be the only thing. <laughs> well, you've got the dress, you've got this, so yeah. the first dance. And what, why is that? Because the song is A Thousand Years by Christina Perry and the lyrics just mean so much to me. Like, she's been waiting so many years to meet this person and she's finally met them. And that's the reason why I wouldn't change that. But anything else, I would be willing to compromise. OK. And have you got an idea in your head who would be your perfect Prince Charming? <laughs> I know who I'd love to be, my Prince Charming. Um, someone a bit like Ali Moore's, cheeky, chappy, kind of happy. So he's your ideal um, man? Yeah, he's just... Well, it's funny you should say that because he's got a message for you. Have a look at this. Hi, Teresa. Uh, it's Ollie here. Um, I've been hearing all about your wedding day and it's all planned and ready to go. Well, listen, I'm single and I hear <laughs> you're looking for uh, the ideal man and you've said it's me, right? Okay, brilliant. So what, what day is it? Is it are, we, are we available that day? No. We're not? Oh, shame. Sorry, babe. <laughs> so there you go. So he would, he would have married you. It was just you, you <laughs> couldn't do that day, unfortunately. Oh. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, I'm a bit blown away by that. It's just like, OK. Suddenly got a little bit hotter. Yeah, it got very warm. Do you, is there a little bit of you that thinks all of this, that it might put potential guys off? 
Maybe. Oh, yeah, it definitely would. Like, I can understand people are kind of going to go, oh, God, no, that's just too much too soon. And I yeah. completely understand that. But I'm not looking to marry someone within the first, like, six weeks of meeting them. Like, obviously, you're going to pan out, see how the relationship works out. Yeah. But um, I'm just hoping it doesn't put too many people off. But yeah. I know it definitely will put a few off. Well, I think you're lovely. And I hope you get the dream wedding that you've always wanted. I really do. And that Mr Wright is out there. It's just a question of finding him. And it's really lovely to meet you.